This month is Women's History Month, a national recognition and honor of women's contributions in American society. Despite having a month dedicated to celebrating women's history, the National Women's History Museum found that less than 25% of all historical figures covered in U.S. schools are women. At NHS, the Feminist Collective was created this school year as a place for everyone to discuss current social justice topics surrounding women's experience and be a safe space for all to join. This week, we talked to the NHS Feminist Collective about the importance of including and centering female figures in historical education and discussion and how that can be done in a more inclusive way. It's important to center female figures in history education because women are a huge part of history. So if you leave women out of history, you're leaving out this entire section of it, which you don't get the full story. And what can you learn if you don't have the full story? I think just it's impossible to really teach a good history class if you don't teach like women's history, because uh, women have been involved in like every major historical event since like the beginning of time. So I just feel like if you're excluding women from from narratives in history, it just it doesn't work. It's not a full story. Representation during Women's History Month is as like the same thing as like talking about women is just making people like, hey, this person has experienced like similar things to what I've gone through and making people not feel alone. I think that the the curriculum as it is uh, definitely includes women's stories. And uh, I think the issue is time setting aside just one month to share those stories. Um, it it doesn't make sense to me because these are stories that are woven into all histories and we need to talk about them all the time. When we're only given an, enough time to do, you know, the greatest hits or, you know, what people see as the most significant people and the most significant events, then, you know, the, the challenge is we're, of course, going to, you know, miss um, you know, miss important people in different experiences. And so I, I think to maybe not so much focus on, you know, unique women and, and um, you know, these exceptional women stories, uh, just to, you know, look through everything with that gendered lens. The Feminist Collective, which everyone should go to, is in room 205, which is Miss Steve Hale's room, every other Thursday during Flex. If you're interested in learning more about the NHS Feminist Collective, follow them on Instagram at NHS Feminist Collective.